So I'm so happy to have y'all here assembled at Assembly. Um, welcome to my new office. I just started working here two weeks ago. I work right there <laughs> most of the time. Um, I'm the new manager of events and community outreach for the Glass Chart Inc., um, which of course includes Assembly, Penny Ice Creamery, uh, Picnic Basket, and Pop-Up. Um, but here my hat is to talk to you all about slow food. So um, the prompt tonight, I suppose, is what motivates or inspires me to work in food. Um, and I think it started in 2009 when I became a farmer. Um, the reason I became a farmer was to catalyze my community to talk about environmental sustainability. I was working at my alma mater in environmental studies, and I started a farm. And then I taught a class there called Biodiversity and Agriculture. Um, and for that class, we had a midterm assignment which the students all presented about different contemporary food movements. Um, and the students that I found most persuasive um, in terms of which movement we should adopt for the campus presented about slow food. So the principles of slow food are that food should be good, clean, and fair. Um, and I just had the honor of going to an event called Terra Madre. I was one of 240 United States delegates for this event. Um, and it was incredible and beyond, beyond my wildest expectations. Um, and I think really the best way to talk about it is to tell a quick story. So I was in the Slow Food Youth Network, which my friend Tim, who's in the audience today, had founded. And I had met um, this Indian woman from Tamil Nadu. And we started dancing and she was showing me her moves. <laughs> and then I met this Sicilian guy and he was spinning me around. I didn't know what was happening. Um, <laughs> And then these two Dutch girls came and they slammed like a bin of Dutch oysters on the ground in the middle of the dance floor and they started shucking them. They had these chain mail gloves on, right? And they're shucking them and handing them out. And I realized that the world was my Dutch oyster. <laughs> um, so, um, so I came back really inspired from that event and um, really wanting to bring some of that back to Santa Cruz. You know, how do you... I, I was with, I should tell you about Terra Madre, right? Um, so Terra Madre is a group of 10,000 food producers um, from, you know, craft beer makers, as we have here tonight. Um, oh, sorry, brew cruises, and you don't make beer, but that's okay. Um, somebody makes beer, right? <laughs> um, um, vintners, um, jam makers, cheese makers, all these wonderful people that I'm lucky to also have in Santa Cruz. and so. When I was in Terra Madre, I kept thinking back to Santa Cruz and thinking, how do I want to bring this back to the community? Um, so then yesterday, I couldn't think of a good enough story to, to tell all y'all, but then yesterday I was working with my friend Sierra, and um, we're together on this thing called the Santa Cruz Heritage Food Project, which is a part of Slow, Slow Food Santa Cruz. Um, so we're in her kitchen creating this 1920s recipe of apple chutney that her great-grandmother, who lived in Santa Cruz, had, had written down, you know, this handwritten thing that was like, <laughs> you know, like a pound of dates and a pound of apples. And, you know, we didn't have scales, so we were just kind of making it all up. Um, and as we were going through, we started wondering, how did apple chutney get to Santa Cruz in, you know, by 1920? And so we started researching, and we started talking about it, and, um, we basically pinned it down to British imperialism, but that's not the point of the story. <laughs> what I realized was that going through the recipe and going through and trying to talk about the, the history um, of this food and the, you know, the, the interesting things about where these things might have been sourced from in the 20s, what it was really about was having a conversation with my friend Sierra in her kitchen, and I, that's what I love about food, is that it brings people together, and it, I always have wonderful conversations. So I hope I can share a table with all of you soon. Thank you. Thank you, Liz.